Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be using a real butterfly wing. Well actually it's a sunset moth wing but saying butterfly is such a nicer word. So if you'd like to see how I did these nails then just keep watching. So for this set, I went with a fully sculpted acrylic base and I'll be putting more acrylic on top and I haven't done sculpted nails in literally years. So this is my first time after not doing it for so long. I've already put on the nail form and I pinched the tip and now I'm just going in with the NSI Attraction Totally Clear Acrylic and I'm placing a medium sized bead right where my natural nail meets the nail form and I'm just placing the bead and pulling it down and pushing it out to the sides to create the actual tip and then I'll be adding a few more beads on my actual nail bed to create the overlay and to make everything nice and smooth and I think I pulled the acrylic down to a number four, which is still long, but it's not as long as I've done in the past. I'm just checking all angles of the nail to make sure that the acrylic is even and if I see any uneven spots I just go back in with a smaller bead of acrylic and apply it to that area. I don't have an actual pinching tool so I just put a little bit of clear acrylic powder on my thumb and index nail and I am pinching the acrylic. Not You don't want to pinch it when it's still wet because that will mess up the acrylic as it's setting. It'll sort of smush it in. You want to wait until the acrylic has like I guess dried but not fully dried. You want to pinch it when it's still a little bit pliable. So I just give it a little bit of a pinch. I don't pinch super hard or anything. Just a little bit of a pinch to give it a nice C curve. So after the acrylic is fully dried, I removed the nail form. I think I forgot to show that. Um, but anyway, I just go in with a 100-180 grit nail file and I'm just filing the sides of the nail and the tip to give it a nice clean shape. Moving on, I'm going to make the big butterfly that you saw on my index nail. So I'm starting out with a piece of the paper from the nail form. This is really good for doing 3D because the acrylic doesn't stick to it. So I'm just picking up kind of a medium sized bead of white acrylic and I'm placing it on the paper and pressing it out into the shape of the butterfly wing, the upper butterfly wing. It's sort of like a a soft teardrop shape that sort of goes in on the outside I guess I don't know I'm terrible at explaining things but just look at a picture and you'll know how to do it And for the lower wings, I'm pushing the acrylic out into sort of an elongated teardrop shape. You want to give the, um, the bottom part of the lower wing sort of a pointed shape. Some butterflies have that like little point to the bottom of their wings, so I'm doing that. And I'm making the little body with regular black acrylic and I'm forming it into sort of a soft rounded rectangular shape.
Next, I'm just laying down a little bit of clear acrylic and I'm putting the wings on top and I just wanted to position and stick the wings to something because next I'm going to be hand painting the wings. For the base color of the wings, I'm sort of doing an ombre effect. So I take a flat brush and I dip one side of it into orange acrylic paint and then I dip the other side into gold acrylic paint and I just swipe the brush on a piece of paper to blend the colors and then I just apply the paint to the butterfly wings to create a really nice ombre fade on the wings. Next I'm outlining the wings in black acrylic paint and I'm using a very thin brush and I'm keeping the outline quite thin because I can always go back in later on and thicken it up after I add the detail to the inner part of the wings. I used a photo for reference for the lines because I had no clue how I was going to draw them and I definitely needed a picture so I'm just looking at a picture and I'm going in with the same black acrylic paint and the same liner brush and just adding little lines and details to the inner part of the wings to make them look realistic. Once the acrylic paint is fully dried, I'm going to sort of put together the butterfly and I'm just applying a very wet bead of acrylic to the paper Then I'm sticking the body on top and then I'll be attaching the wings to the side of the body. And when I'm after I attach the wings to the side of the body, I like to lift them up a little bit. This sort of gives the butterfly a more realistic look rather than the butterfly just laying flat. Now moving on to the actual nail art, I'm just applying a thin layer of clear acrylic onto my pinky nail and I'll be doing the same thing on my index nail. Then after the acrylic is somewhat dried, you don't want it to be completely dry. When it's still sort of moldable I guess, I use a piece of um, fabric, fishnet fabric, whatever you want to call it, and I just press that into the acrylic to create that sort of like a netting effect. Now I'm filling in the netting with a neon yellow acrylic powder and a bright orange acrylic powder. It looks kind of yucky here, but after the colored acrylic dries, I'll go in with a nail file and file off the top layer and it will reveal a beautiful netting effect. So I wanted to add some acrylic marbling to this nail design, so I'm going in with a, I believe it's a, a size 8 alpha brush, and in my opinion this is the best brush for marbling because it just picks up the right size bead, it keeps the perfect amount of liquid in your brush, it just works the best that I've used. And so the acrylic I'm using is the bright green is Glam and Glitz Journey to Mars from their Glow Collection and the black is just a plain black acrylic powder that I mixed together. So I just dip the brush in the liquid monomer, then I dip it into the green, and then right after I dip it into the black. But you just want to pick up a tiny bit of black. You don't want to pick up too much because the black will overpower the green. Then I just place it on my nail and just drag it out to create the marble effect.
and I'm just repeating the same thing on my thumbnail but unfortunately I am either out of focus or completely out of frame in most of these shots so I think I'm just gonna fast forward through all of this just in case some people maybe want to still want to see it I don't know why but I'll just I'll leave it in the video um, really bummed that I was out of frame out of focus but yeah I'm just repeating the same thing I did on my ring nail on my thumb And to make the acrylic marble look a little bit more realistic, I always go in with the lighter shade of marble, so in this case the green, and I go over the black to sort of fade it a little bit so it's not so harsh and it gives the marble more of a realistic effect. And this method can be used with any type of marble that you're doing with acrylic. You just want to use the lighter color that you use to marble with to go over the dark areas to sort of fade them a little bit and tone them down so they're not so harsh. And here are the butterfly wings that I was sent. I love them. They're all so beautiful, but I messed up royally on these butterfly wings and you'll see that in the next couple clips. And here's where everything went completely, absolutely, terribly wrong. For some reason, certain wings don't work so well with getting wet. So first I tried encapsulating it in clear acrylic and as you can see it turned the wing black. Ugh. Here is the glue that I'll be using to attach the wing to my nail. This Gorilla Super Glue should never be used to attach a nail tip to your nail. That won't end well. So before I apply any of the Gorilla Glue to my nail, I'm just sort of positioning the wing just to see how I want to place it. Next I'm applying the Gorilla Glue all over the nail and then I'll be placing the wing on top and pressing it into place but I'm not using my fingers because my fingers would stick to my nail and that wouldn't be good. So I'm just using a Ziploc bag to press the wing into place and to get it to stick. Now I'm just cutting off the excess of the wing and then I'll go back in with more of the Gorilla Glue and a tool and I'll apply it to the edges of the nail just to make sure that the wing is nice and secured all over the nail. So I won't be encapsulating these nails. I do learn my mistakes the first time. So I'm just going in with some glossy gel top coat around the area of my nail where you can still see the acrylic. I wanted that to be shiny. I didn't want it to be matte. So I'm just doing that and also I'm applying a tiny bit to the top part of the feather just to keep it nice and secured so it doesn't like snag on anything. And I didn't show this but I also applied some of the gel top coat to the sides and the edge of the nail just to sort of seal it a little bit more. Now I'm encapsulating the marble nails and the netting nails in the NSA Attraction Totally Clear Acrylic. Wow. 
Once the acrylic is dried, I go in with my amazing holographic nail drill and a carbide drill bit and I file down the acrylic to thin out the nail just a little bit. Now I'm applying gel top coat to make the nails all glossy and pretty. Now I'm adding a little bit of jewelry gel to my pinky and index nails to attach the butterflies. The butterfly on my pinky nail I actually just made with a nail mold that I filled with white acrylic and I hand painted it with orange gold and black acrylic paint like I did the other one. I didn't want to go through and make a tiny little one so I just sort of cheated a little and I used a nail mold for that butterfly. And to finish up this nail design, I am just applying a little bit of pineapple cuticle oil around my cuticles and using a brush to brush it around. And cuticle oil is so important. Not only does it make the skin look better after doing acrylic or gel nails, it also moisturizes the skin really well. And here's the final look for these glow-in-the-dark real butterfly slash moth wing marbled acrylic nails. I hope you all enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching.